Hello everyone, I am at TechCon SoCal 2025 event. I am here with Raj Kapoor, who is the co-founder and managing partner at Climactic. Hello Raj, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Happy to. So Raj, tell us about the latest trends in the climate tech space. Yeah. What are you most excited about? So when we think about how to make impact and get returns, that's what climate tech investing is all about. And when we look at impact, there's really three ways to get impact. There's changing consumer behavior, governments that can change policy, and then there's businesses that can change how they're doing things to lower emissions. And what we're excited about is that the one with the biggest leverage point and most likely to happen, it's not government, as we know. It's unlikely that consumers are gonna change their behavior and buy more expensive items just to go green. It's really about the businesses. Over 8,000 businesses have made a net zero pledge that's about 90% of worldwide GDP is under pledge. So what we're excited about is how do we help those businesses get there? And the first thing that they can do, which also benefits their bottom line, is go for efficiency. McKinsey has an estimate that probably 30% of our reduction in, in worldwide emissions can happen just through efficiency. So how can we invest in software, robotics, AI, that can help companies get more efficient, which reduces emissions and reduces cost. You, you talked about AI. Uh, I would love to dive a little deeper on how AI can help the climate tech. Yeah, so um, AI is all about a much superior way of predictions, I would say, with huge data sets, and being able to take complex systems and do even a better job on it. So for example, Google just released a better weather prediction system for up to 10 days that's significantly better than anything else. And it's using, the, it's because it's such a complex data set, there's not a lot of rules, so neural networks are in a good place to do that. That's one example. So it's better predictions, so we can predict things like um, how long a particular machinery is going to last, making it more efficient. Uh, we can predict where is the best place to put wind or solar. All of those things can happen uh, using AI. And then, of course, there's the whole lar large language models. And how can you accelerate adoption? For example, um, you can have the world's best sales agent for solar, for residential, as an AI bot. Because they'll understand all of the objections that they've ever heard and be able to deal with that and help the sale happen. We're, we've invested in a company that is that kind of sales agent for electric heat pumps, which is another area that could really help us if we move from gas to electric. Cool. Any any comments or views on the TechCon SoCal event and yeah. how it can help bridging the connection between different tech communities? I think uh, it's wonderful to see that there's been a real critical mass. I was here last year and this year is even bigger and better around a variety of different um, things that are happening. Like, So I'm in Silicon Valley and of course that's a home of a lot of innovation, but my belief is that great companies can really start anywhere. And I was just looking at some of the companies that I'll be judging later on, and they're really world-class. So it's wonderful to see that Southern California, specifically the San Diego community, has really come together. And there's a lot here to offer. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.